To a story we told you about earlier this week, tonight a self-described escort is sharing her perspective and asking for understanding. This comes after repeated complaints about prostitution on Cap Street in San Francisco's Mission District. KTVU's Amber Lee is here now after speaking with the woman. Amber. Julie, the city is planning to put up barriers on the streets where neighbors have complained about traffic and other problems brought on by prostitution. City leaders say they're stepping in out of concern for the neighbors and the workers. The self-described escort says she's there to make a living, not cause trouble. I just want to fight for our rights as women. This woman goes by the name Queen. She contacted KTVU wanting to talk openly about her work on Cap Street in San Francisco's Mission District. She describes herself as an escort, not a sex worker, in an area where residents complain of illegal activity, prostitution, traffic, honking, and other loud noise on a regular basis. I want to say I'm sorry. This is from all the women out there because we are sorry because we don't really want to cause no harm to nobody. We're just out there to make a living. The 22-year-old tells me she's a single mom who's supporting a four-year-old son and has bills to pay. She says it's a struggle to survive. It was my last resort. To work out on the streets? Yes. She tried, you tried to get jobs and you couldn't? Yes. Queen says she doesn't work for anyone but herself and that her sister, who is not in the profession, will often be out there with her to watch her back. She says she's been working the streets for five months. Queen tells me she's not selling sex, which is illegal. She's selling her time. I feel like you should have a right to stand anywhere. What if someone just want to pay me the sign? How often does that happen? A lot, actually. We look at the reasons for women and men to be on the street. Antonia Levine is director of San Francisco Collaborative Against Human Trafficking, which helps provide services to survivors. She says people who work the streets are often exploited, the victims of human trafficking, with few, if any, options to make a living, and some are minors. We look at this situation uh, as lack of support networks in the community and a societal problem. The city plans to put up barriers on Cap Street between 18th and 22nd Streets to keep out illegal activity. Queen says that measure will not work because those activities will take place on other streets. I was homeless at a young age, so it's like I just do what I can to make sure I get what I need to get or do what I gotta do. Supervisor Hillary Ronan, who represents this district, tells me the barriers will likely go up Friday. Her aide says it is a temporary measure and it'll be evaluated in two weeks. He says there is a push to get state lawmakers to legalize the profession to regulate the industry in hopes of making it safer for sex workers. Julie? All right, yeah, Cap Street has been a place for prostitution for many, many years in San Francisco. Amber, thank you. Well, if you or someone you know is a victim of human trafficking, there are resources. This is the number for the San Francisco Bay Area Human Trafficking Hotline. It's open 24-7 and is confidential. That number to call is 415-907-9911. San Francisco Mayor